Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be probably a fairly short video um, and it's going to be based on the shape binder tool and uh, that's the tool that looks like this. So while I'm talking I'm going to leave that on the screen so maybe I get a decent thumbnail. But um, so the face binder tool allows you to map uh, uh, various faces so in uh, in my case I'm going to be mapping some cylinders um, from one body to another and that allows the uh, allows you to more gracefully link those those uh, shapes. Uh, I don't fully understand when when and where you're supposed to use it, but I think I came up with a pretty good example. Um, and as I've been doing, this is going to be available on my web page. And I've already done the video for or the uh, article for that. That's and that's here, and I'll put that in a link. Now I will be adding the the model, but I'm trying to put it on. Um, mathcodeprint.com for patrons so it's it, it's going to be for patrons only but right now mathcodeprint won't let me upload the file um, because of some of my PHP settings so I got to fix that so uh, so let's go back into it with this and um, so what what I'm going to be doing it on is this model and uh, I did this case and I wanted to see if I could do a really nice clean case with just part part design um, primitives and I was able to do something that I that I was pretty happy with um, and I learned a few good things along the way so the idea of face binder in this case and and you can achieve this other ways as well so don't let that you know don't think that that's the only reason you use it um, but this is supposed to give the face binder is supposed to give us abstractions that keep it from getting broken and if you do some careful planning you can see so you can see that these holes moved with it now I didn't bind this this lid at all so that of course didn't move so let me show you how I did that so let me um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this I'm going to create a copy and I'm going to take out the shape binder and I'll walk through how I do the shape binder okay so now I have my lid for this case without the shape binder so with that in active uh, with the body active so you can see that by the blue um, I'm going to select the face binder tool and I, you'll, you'll notice I don't have any faces selected because that's something you do after you select it and you, it's very simple you get this um, that it's called datum shape okay because that's you know that's what it really is um, and all you have to do is uh, select add geometry so I'm going to select this now actually what I think I'm going to try is I'm going to try to do it a little differently than I did originally um, I'm going to select this right here, this ring. So in the article, I select this. Actually, we'll do a couple just so we can see the different, and you can see it's down there. I'm going to select the face. Oh, we got uh, so for each one you have to do add geometry. Let me do so. We'll do it a couple of different ways. I don't know if how that one works. Oh, that one works nice. Um, this is kind of fun. So, so here I've done it three different ways. And you'll see the reason why I picked this one is because it's basically uh, even with the bottom of the case. So now let's go through and use those to create additive cylinders. We'll do each one, uh, or I'm sorry, a subtractive cylinder. So that'll place uh, place the subtractive cylinder at the same position as these holes. So um, so this can also be achieved by linking um, by linking the placements of things. Um, but, in, but to link the placements, you have to go into each each data field and use the formula tool. So let me start with um, create a subtractive cylinder. So we have our subtractive cylinder, and you'll notice the attachment is already selecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one first, and it should go automatically to concentric. Make sure I get it selected. Yep, and it went to concentric. So that's all you have to do. Now I have now that cylinder is attached. And let's just change the radius to 2, I think, or 2.5, I think I have it. Let's do 2.5 and click OK. So now I have my hole uh, all the way through, and you'll see why it, it worked out better to, to use that bottom ring instead of the face. So now let's do it with, um, let's do it with this face. So, and actually we could probably hide the, hide that hole, yep. So now we're going to do add a cylinder, and let's pick I'll just pick that face. Nope, see the face doesn't work. So when you get a selection you don't like, if you click the box again, and I'm gonna pick this inner ring this time. Yeah, so 
you'll see how it's reversed. It's going the wrong way for me. So in this case, I'm going to have to reduce the radius. And then we'll just leave it at 2. That's fine. And I'm going to have to do flip sides. And then it penetrates. And then the other problem is it doesn't penetrate. Oh, no, that does penetrate all the way full through. OK. In some cases, I was having it. It wasn't going all the way through. Let's make sure it does. Yep, OK. Um, all right, now let's try it with the cylinder and see what happens. So we'll do another additive. And we'll just pick the cylinder wall there. And oh, that's nice. So that's e easier to pick. And, and I think it's going to, is it going to match the? Nope. So it's centering on the cylinder because it's going to the face it's, and it's inertial. So let's set it. Let's do two. And I think it's also not going to penetrate all the way through when we flip it. But so you can see, oh, no, it's fine. So you can see how this way is just a lot easier. So based on the geometry you pick is, is important. And then this one's going to be the same as that one. So I'll just skip that one. So anyway, so now that I have those, if I go to my box, I can change this and uh, and it'll change and these will reorient it so you see how that reorient see how that was reoriented as well so we could also we could also do create uh, um, a separate shape binder for the box and then use the box uh, set the box to um, to the shape binder so the lid would change as well so that's shape binder I hope that's useful and uh, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out the Patreons of the developers, uh, Yorick, um, Real Thunder, and uh, oh, and Kurt, <laughs> uh, Kurt Kremetsky. So they're all, and I'll have their links in the description. And have a great day.